अनुपम मिश्रा जी प्रोफेसर राम स्वामी अयर मनु भट्टागर डॉक्टर सेजल वोरा सुरेश बाबू एंड फ्रेंड्स वेल एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट इवन हाफ एन एक्सपर्ट ऑन इश्यूज पर्टेनिंग टू द रिवर एंड दिस इज वेरी लिटल दैट आई कैन से अबाउट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ रिवर्स और सेविंग रिवर्स बट आई डू फाइंड यू नो फ्रॉम द प्रोग्राम दैट यू हैड that one of the first topics uh, that was discussed was what is a river now uh, we in the legal profession uh, begin by understanding definitions if you look at any act of uh, parliament or any act of the state legislature the words that are being used are first defined and on the basis of that definition the interpretation of uh, the laws takes place so when we ask ourselves a question what is a river we are actually asking ourselves a very very fundamental question and uh, perhaps uh, because we have no answer unless some answer has come out of uh, the deliberations uh, over the last couple of days uh, i think we will all be groping in the dark certainly um, lawyers and judges will be groping in the dark on how to solve problems relating to rivers and how to manage uh, rivers Uh, as far as i'm aware uh, we don't have any laws uh, relating to rivers except perhaps the uh, water pollution laws uh, but we do have a couple of uh, judgments um, one of them of course being with uh, relation to the ganga when uh, tanneries were closed down in uh, kanpur uh, but they all come under not laws pertaining to rivers but they all come under laws pertaining to the environment uh, we also have uh it's 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 a doctrine which has now been accepted and i hope um you know it advances a little further uh, where uh, we had the span hotels or the span motels which had uh, diverted uh, a river uh, for the convenience of the guests at that point of time the supreme court had accepted uh, something which has been there since uh, roman law of uh, the uh, public trust doctrine which means to say that it belongs to us you know the the it's it, it's our uh, resource and we are the ones who have to look after it it started off uh, in ancient times you know with navigation routes and so on so the navigation routes for purposes of fishing and travel and so on uh, were all defined and uh, there were no laws of course but people accepted that these navigation routes uh, belong to the people belong to the persons who are going to use that and nobody else should interfere uh, similarly uh, the supreme court felt that rivers belong to the people of the country and no one person or one organization has the right to um, divert the course of the river for his or her benefit i think if we apply this public trust doctrine to some of the aspects of life uh, not only rivers but also other aspects uh, water for example or even air um, perhaps you know we can arrive at some kind of an understanding if not a definition of what we are talking about and once we are in a position to understand uh, what we are talking about perhaps we may be able to uh, arrive at some kind of a solution uh you also have uh, you know difficulties in uh, apart from the general definition of what is a river uh, what do you do about uh, something like an interstate river how do you define an interstate uh, river who has the control over an interstate river uh, is it the uh, uh, you know the place from where the river flows down uh, what about uh, a situation where uh, the river passes through a particular state maybe just a few kilometers and does that uh, make the river an interstate river does the state through which it passes uh, just maybe a couple of kilometers does that state have any right over that river other than the uh, main state uh, we had this problem uh, of course it was not an issue but we had this problem uh, with the periyar uh, river where a part of it flows through uh, tamil nadu so these are issues which i think uh you know which are arising uh we have in the supreme court uh, dealt with a couple of issues the one which is really live 
which I do not really want to discuss, is about the Kaveri. Uh, you know, I mean, every time the issue comes up, <clears throat> there's a problem either in Karnataka. If there's no problem in Karnataka, then there's a problem in uh, Tamil Nadu. So how do you resolve these kind of disputes? First of all, you have a problem of a definition. In this case, of course, uh, nobody doubts that the Kaveri is a river. Nobody doubts that uh, the Periyar is a river. But you may have different categories of disputes, different kinds of disputes where you know it, uh, the issue may arise. But what are the ways and means of resolving these kind of disputes? Uh, we heard uh, Akhil talk about uh, resolving the dispute through what he described as a street fight, right? And uh, we had uh, the uh, Lata's uh, consensus uh, approach. So you have two diametrically opposite you know, ways of uh, resolving disputes pertaining to rivers or pertaining to the utilization of water. I personally believe that the courts today are, in a sense, ill-equipped to deal with these kind of uh, issues. Uh, we don't have the expertise. Uh, there are very few researches that have been done. Uh, we've had to rely on a couple of occasions on judgments uh, delivered by the Supreme Court of the United States. Uh, there, they've had disputes, but many of them were resolved many years ago, and uh, the disputes are no longer subsisting. But I'm not very sure how, to what extent we can import the American jurisprudence into Indian jurisprudence. So we have really to find a way within our system of trying to resolve these kind of disputes. I found that one of the uh, sessions that you had was on uh, conflict uh, resolution. I wish I could have attended that. But uh, <clears throat> we need to understand that the courts are not the best option or the first option. Um, well, I'm not trying to say that uh, you know the, the, the courts are failing us or any such thing, but there are other ways of resolving disputes, and we now have to start looking at other ways of resolving disputes. Parliament has been trying to encourage alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, um, something like mediation. Uh, Lokadalat has been there uh, for a long time. So we need to find out you know, uh, different ways of resolving these disputes because these are not traditional disputes. They are disputes relating to rights, which is what uh, the courts deal with. They all, uh, the, all cases in the courts deal with rights. So when we talk about river disputes or water disputes, we are talking about rights of some people as against some other people. So in a sense, they should come to a court. But because of the nature of the conflict, I think it is my belief that we need to find alternative methods of trying to resolve uh, these kind of disputes. Um, it's going to be a long struggle. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, problems uh, that will be faced. Uh, the tanneries issue, for example, it would have been a very tough uh, battle for whoever would have had to fight it. Akhil, I know I was there in uh, Guwahati for quite some time, and uh, I know he had a pretty tough time uh, in Assam, but I'm glad uh, he has been successful. So we have to, you know, be ready for a struggle which is going to take a long time. We have to try and find out alternative methods. We have to innovate methods of uh, conflict resolution. And there is no one best method. Street fight may not necessarily be the best method. Consensus may not necessarily be the best method. Courts may not necessarily be the best method. I think each case or each dispute will have to be tackled on its own and perhaps uh, innovatively. Um, I think this is all uh, that I have to say, um, but I must also conclude by saying that I'm extremely impressed uh, at the uh, dedication that has been shown by, uh, you know, some of the uh, award winners, um, and I'm sure those who were considered by the jury also must have done a considerable amount of uh, work. Um, it's good to see that. Uh, you know, people are taking up these issues in, in, in a very dynamic way. My first encounter with this was uh, way back in the 1970s. Um, I had gone on a trek uh, somewhere in the Himalayas, and uh, there were just uh, two or three of us. We were having a cup of tea in some dhaba in the evening, and suddenly we heard these, you know, screams and shouts, and people were fighting. 
Uh, I was a law student at that time, and I said, well, here's my first case, you know. And uh, I went there to try and understand what the dispute was about, uh, you know, but uh, I, I couldn't understand the language. But because of that screaming and shouting, uh, you know, a lot of people had gathered over there, and uh, they somehow or the other talked to the people who were uh, disputing and resolved uh, the issue. It was about sharing the water from, uh, you know, downstream. Uh, so that was one method where, uh, you know, it was resolved at the community level. But then if you look at the rivers, you know, there it was a small stream or something. But if you're looking at the river, you're looking at something which is magnified a thousand times, you know, and the, the, the issue is going to be a thousand times more complicated. Uh, this is why uh, I say that, you know, we need to innovate, we need to find out ways of uh, resolving these kind of uh, disputes. Uh, I wish all of you all the best and uh, success in whatever you are doing. Thank you and God bless. Honorable Justice Lokur, I apologize for the miss. <laughs> uh, I now invite uh, Mr. Suresh Babu for a vote of the things. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Justice Madan Lokur, sir and dignitaries in the dais. Uh, it's a privilege to uh, propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. It's a very, very special evening uh, for us, and I, I think for you as well. You know, we have heard about Bhagirath and the Prayas, but we are actually amongst many, many Bhagiraths who is trying to actually uh, res uh, restore and rejuvenate our rivers. Um, on behalf of the organizing committee of the India Rivers Week, uh, at the outset, I want to thank uh, Dr. Lada Ananda, uh, Mr. Akhil Gogoi, and Koel Karo, uh, Jan Sangathan, uh, Sri Munda, uh, Soma Munda, and uh, uh, Sri Dhanik Guria for your inspirational work. And uh, thank you very much for coming over and uh, hearty congratulations to you all. And we look up to you and uh, we hope to continue your uh, good work in wherever we are operating. I would like to convey our sincere appreciation and thanks to Honorable Justice Madan Lokur uh, Ji for having agreed to be the chief guest this evening. Uh, we know that you are, you are really busy with uh, court and other proceedings. Um, so thank you very much, sir. And uh, may I request uh, Manoj Mishra ji to um, uh, present a sapling and a shawl in, uh, uh, as, a, as, a, 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 as a recognition of uh, your commitment to reverse. So thank you so much for highlighting the complexities around the rivers and also showing us that there are different ways of approaching the same problem and try and resolve the issues uh, around rivers. Thank you very much. And also for re-emphasizing that there is also an opportunity around the public trust document uh, to sort of save our rivers. Uh, Anuamji, sir, uh, it was once again an inspirational talk. And uh, you know, uh, I, I want to sort of, on behalf of this August audience, to commit that you know, we, we wouldn't want any of the rivers to be Amina's photocopy. So we will try our best, and uh, we seek your guidance. And thank you, thank you very much for uh, enlightening us with your thoughts. I must mention that Bhagirath Prayas Saman, uh, to put this together, it, it was a really a difficult challenge, because the kind of nominations that we got, everyone uh, was doing or are doing exemplary work. And I must mention that it, it was only because of our eminent jury chaired by Professor Ramswami Ayer, uh, Dr. Samar Singh, uh, Ashri Anwar Mishraji, uh, Dr. Amitabh Babiskar, Mr. Devi Singh, and Ms. Dr. Kalyan Rudra, that we were able to sort of uh, come to a consensus and identify the awardees this night. So thank you very much for guiding us through this difficult process. And uh, my sincere thanks also to uh, our partners, uh, Manoj Mishraji, uh, Manu Bhatnagarji, Ravi Agarwalji, and uh, 
Himanshu Thakkar ji. You know, when we started talking about Bhagirath Saman, we didn't know where we are going. Lot of discussions, lot of arguments around, you know, what the format has to be, what criteria should be, how, how to invite nominations or not invite nominations, shall we open it up public? So it was a stimulating debate that we had within the organizing committee. And thank you, everyone, for your time and uh, guidance in putting this together. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to place on record a hearty thanks to some of the people who are not visible here, uh, our supporters uh, in institutions like Argium, People Science Institute, and uh, Global Grants Green Fund and HSBC India in supporting this initiative. And uh, uh, last but not the least, we thank you all for being with us this evening. And it, it's an inspirational evening, and uh, uh, the journey begins here. And uh, with that, I uh, end this vote of thanks, but invite you to the dinner upstairs. And thank you very much once again.